Toy Tractor Times is here at the 2019 National Farm Toy Show. We're here with Lane Jensen of Ankeny, Iowa. Lane, you visit us with us a yeah. few times. You won three big farm shows in the past year, the National Youth, St. Yeah. Louis, and Lafayette. You're back here at the National. Yep. Uh, congratulations on making a return to the show. And uh, let's take, a, I guess, a tour of what you brought out this year. Yeah. And you came in second place at yeah. this one, mm -hmm. which is pretty cool. Yeah, there's good competition. And a lot of people did a good job, so. Well, let's take a look at what you built. So right here would be the cornfield in the corner, and there's a lot of weeds in it right now. This would be river bottom ground, and it, it's it's wet, so they got a tiling take in there, and I wanted to show a little bit of erosion, so, yeah. And it looks like the deer aren't helping it, they're thinning it out. Yeah. Yeah, that's a doe, and I've, I've got quite a few comments saying that's a cow, but and also people said I need a tree, tree stand now, so well, maybe looking, maybe getting that detail. Sure. No, I, I saw this right away, and I thought that looks, you know, that's pretty cool to show kind of a part of a field that struggles a little bit. Yeah. And so then we've got uh, older equipment, looks like old John Deere 95 tucked in there. Yep, they probably re recently upgraded to a John Deere 7700 John Deere combine. Um, so, and I wanted to show that junk behind the building. So, that's normally common in Iowa and all around the world. So. Looks like a couch and some chairs back there. And the yeah. Old, uh, tillage equipment. Got the Heston 565A round baler. That must still be in use, I yeah. imagine. Got your um, spray truck, tender yep. truck. Mm-hmm. It'd be their grain truck in the fall, too. Okay. So and we've got a harrow. Yep, that'd be their harrow. And they've had that for a long time as well. A lot of their farm equipment is mostly used or bought at an auction. The Westfield auger? Yeah, that was uh, done up by, uh, I think, I can't remember who did it, but I did get it from uh, Dale Matson. So. It looks good, I like the grading down there. What, uh, what model uh, tractor is here? That is a John Deere 2510. I customized okay. it, weathered it. And so you just got the shift that lever maybe up there on the dash? And yeah, and some spread. dash detail, like I like to do. Now here's a tractor right up my alley. It looks like, yeah. uh, which model Alice Chalmers is this? It's uh, Alice Chalmers 8070. Okay. I decked it out with a lot of customization and bigger floor towers in the front and for the river bottom. And they're working on it right now. She breaks down a lot, but they, they just got a power wash, so. A lot of good, strong power. Yep, they're working on it right now, so. Got a John Deere lawnmower and a 425 maybe or 455. Yeah, and their corn they wouldn't have any shops, so they just their shop would be the corn crib. Okay. And they would strap together some lumber from the trees out in the field. It'd be a little awning or lean to to put their drill in there for spraying so they can drill soybeans. And I've got the grain bins here. It looks like they collected some of their seed signs out of the fields and yep the calvin has got the john deere flail shredder yep that'd be what they would use to uh knock down corn stalks or cut corn stalks during the fall and then round bale it got the homestead here got, yep. uh, trash we call them a herbie kirby where i live okay <laughs> it's kind of a strange name but yeah that's pretty neat it's a yep. good looking house with landscaping and yep and i want to replicate some kids there i got from hobby haven Okay. In Des Moines, Iowa. Uh, there's a kid there with his hat on. I try, I almost got the yellow paint on the top there, but I believe it's a John Deere hat. But he has a remote controlled car, and his brother is on the little tricycle in there too. So. And then uh, it looks like an old two cylinder, maybe a 730 out here under the tree. Yep, it, it's seen a better day. Now tell me about this tractor. That is a 4040. I customized. Uh, I'm thinking about uh, doing one for FFA, so I wanted to customize a 4040. I like Obviously, the it's toolbox got, on it. Yeah, and I customized it by weathering it and the mirrors on it too. So you must have a good uh, Agco Heston dealer. Yeah. You can see the Heston baler here. I think Tim Holker did that, but um, I did pick it up from Dale Matson. Okay. Well, Matson then uh, this was something you probably don't see in Iowa too often is a cockshut tractor. Yep, that would be one of their auger tractors. Okay, and you got um, the bucket on it to keep the water off. Yep, they, it wouldn't see too much use. 
I always like the 7700s. Yeah. That's a yeah, that was, uh, that was scratch built by uh, David Holman. Okay. And I went ahead and customized it by weathering it. And I American used oil flag? pastels to, to uh, brown oil pastel. Okay. It looks very realistic for its age. And uh, what you got the John Deere 500 grain card over here? Yep. On yeah. the uh, custom 4450 that I customized. And it has the extra fuel tank in the front and antenna, radio antenna and also weathered. You got the extra fuel tank up front there? Yep. Now is this a wellhead here? Yep. Uh, okay. Farm probably would have had an old well there back in the day. And then an uh, old Mack truck out here in the weeds? Yep. They used to raise hogs, but they scrapped the hog trailer. But they think they were going to, they thought they were going to uh, turn that into a grain truck. But the tree beat them to it, so. You know, I always see these trees going through stuff, and I'm like, yeah. a little bottle of Roundup could have fixed all your <laughs> yeah. problems yep, a while definitely. ago. So tell me about this tractor over here. So that is a 4450 that I also customized. Uh, it has one of Sean Lockwood's loader kits on it and bale forks. And right now they're getting lunch. He's hopped out of the tractor and he'll get some lunch and get back on their scent cutting of hay bales. So, well, I always like these front wheel assist tractors with loaders. Yeah, they, they stand they're, out. they're pretty nice tractors. Now what are the boxes over here in the ditch? Well, that's uh, actually a refrigerator oh, that you'll yeah, see, see that. a lot from people in the city will drive out in the country and they just dump their junk in the uh, ditch. So I wanted to replicate that detail. That is uh, an unfortunate thing I do see and um, it's yeah. uh, their problem is now your problem. Mm -hmm. Yep. We've caught them several times too. Mm. So. Well, thank you very much for sharing this display. Are we yeah. going to see it some more shows this Probably, year? Probably. Uh, I right. might be going to St. Louis so and so, Lafayette. So. Sounds good. We'll keep up the good work. Yep. We look forward to see what you create next. Okay. Thank you, Jason. Yeah. Thanks for checking out Lane's display. He's got a lot of great weathering detail and making a realistic farm. And if you'd like to learn more about farm displays and 164th modeling, check out ToyTractorTimes.com and our Toy Talk message board where people share pictures and information on displays and as always thank you for watching